Hello, I'll talk about multiplying images as matrices, and I'm looking for collaborators. So matrix product is everywhere. And for example, it plays the key role in transformers. It would be great to understand it better. So let's do something strange. Take images and multiply their matrix of pixel values by matrix product. Let's see. Multiplying transposed monkey by monkey use the result which has plenty of information. In transformers, people often apply soft max to the rows of the left matrix. Here, we also need to apply soft max to columns of the right matrix to obtain a richer, more fine grain structure in the product. Let's see a different example. Plain by monkey, again, enough information, but if we have softmax rows of the left matrix and columns of the right one, we have product with richer, more fine grain structure. You can compose matrix product with other operations, and we can build small machines using computational elements used in transformers and other primitives. Let's try machine learning using great facilities afforded by Julia Flux. We define a matrix transformation and the loss function associated with it. So the top row you have seen already, and now let's warp the monkey, and then the result will acquire some grades. And now let's Forget how we obtain the results with grains, and let's try to solve the inverse problem. What should be the matrix to obtain grains? Initialize starting with the original monkey. Take the gradient of the loss function with respect to the image, and perform gradient descent with respect to the image. And we find the solution, which is as good as the original oscillatory work, but different. Both solutions exhibit vertical stripe structure, which is responsible for the resulting grains in the product. The whole idea of taking gradients with respect to input images is inspired by Deep Dream. I hope this material will be useful for you in your work and research. Further materials can be found here. I'm looking for collaborators and thank you for your attention.